Hi everyone, today I'm painting a sunset landscape with bright colors and a children's book illustration style with acrylics on canvas. I first made a few little thumbnail sketches in pencil in my sketchbook and I wanted to use the trees I painted in a previous video but create a landscape around them. I wanted to use blue tones for an evening atmosphere and a bit of pink and purple. I looked at some sunset photos and Tove Jansson's Moomin Valley illustrations for ideas. I wrote little notes about colors and stuff beside the thumbnail. I decided to make a mountain and have the setting sun peek from behind it. Make the sky pink and purple and the mountain and trees blue. I usually start by sketching in real size on grid paper and then transferring it onto canvas. But for this one I drew straight onto the canvas to make the process faster. I wanted to follow the rule of thirds in where I place the sun because that would be the focal point of the painting besides the trees in the foreground. I measured the canvas with a ruler and marked down the thirds and drew a little grid. And then I drew the mountains and placed the sun in one of the intersections of the grid. I made sure to use a hard pencil, press lightly and erase the lines a bit so that they wouldn't be visible under the acrylic paint. They did end up showing through the light yellow sun though, so I had to hide the lines with white paint and then paint another yellow layer on top. I used lighter blue in the mountains further away and darker blue towards the front of the painting. And then finally after painting the background I painted the trees on top in varying sizes depending on how close they are. I was also going to add shadows for the trees going away from the sun but I forgot. I need to start using a to-do list for my paintings where I write down everything I want to have in the painting and then tick off the parts I've done. I was also thinking about putting a moon in the sky instead of the sun and have the colors of the painting be colder and more blue, but I'll save that idea for another painting. I'm using the same colors for the trees as for the rest of the painting. Turquoise, blue, pink and purple. Blue where the shadows would be and pink where the sunset hits them. Then I painted the three trunks and branches with dark blue and dark brown using a small brush. I felt like I would have needed an even smaller brush for this part and I'm sure I have one but I couldn't find it. So the branches are a little chunkier than I'd like them to be and I covered up most of them by dabbing on more leaves after the branches were dry. The ground seemed kind of empty so I added grass and hints of trees. To tie the painting together I painted white, pink and light yellow highlights on the mountains on the sides where the sunlight would hit them. You can see that I also painted the edges of the canvas. I continue the painting on the sides of the canvas so that it doesn't have to be framed. I think it looks nicer than leaving the sides white or painting them black. The last things I painted were little animal silhouettes in the trees. I think these two were the only parts of the painting where I used pure black paint. After finishing this painting and letting it dry overnight, I varnished it and then gave it to my niece as a birthday present. I also filmed the varnishing, so there'll be a video of how I varnish acrylic paintings. 
There are prints and other merch available of this painting in my Red Bubble shop if you'd like to check it out. Thanks for watching.